and welcome back to Pentitude. Today I'm going to be walking you through my bullet journal setup for 2020. And as you've just seen, this month's theme is going to be sea creatures. I'm so excited to share it with you all today. So feel free to sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea or coffee, and let's get into it. I've been seeing a ton of other creators being inspired by water this month with a lot of ocean themes. And while I think it's normal this time of year, I also think that a lot of us are really hoping to get this COVID situation under control soon so that we can go outdoors and enjoy the summer weather. I really debated between a sea creature theme and Japanese cuisine theme this month because July marks my first full year anniversary from returning from Japan after teaching English there for two years. Luckily, I had an Instagram poll in my stories to help break the tie, and here we are. So for the main cover page, I decided to go ahead and do a full two-page spread because I haven't really been using my bullet journal as much as I usually do. I'm still working from home and things are only just starting to open up to phase four here, so it'll likely be another full month if not two months before I'm back in the office regularly on a full-time basis. Anyway, for the cover page, I wanted to break us into the world of sea creatures with a nice coral bed setting. Throughout the month, I'll be referencing sea creature suggestions that people on Instagram wanted to see in addition to a couple of my personal favorites. If you want to be involved with my decision-making process or see some behind the scenes for these plan with me videos, be sure to hop over to my Instagram page. Um, it's just at Penditude. I use it quite regularly to get feedback and suggestions and kind of keep my artistic mojo going. I really look to you guys for inspiration and suggestions, so I really appreciate any feedback and things that you give me for the future. So for now, I've included a starfish, a seahorse, and one of those um, flounderfish, which I plan on painting yellow. Um, you'll see me trying to incorporate the creatures from Finding Nemo this month because it's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time and it's got sea creatures in it, so why not? Um, I don't remember what the yellow fish's name is, but I can just picture him going crazy over all the bubbles that I add at to the end of this spread to kind of help bring it to life. Um, I also added some strands of seaweed to help fill in all of the white space, which I, you know, I really liked how it turned out in the end. Um, just think it helps create this nice, lively space of going into the ocean. It's kind of cool. So at this point in the video editing process, I discovered that the end of the painting portion for this page completely stopped recording, which is one of those bummer moments since it really showcased how the gouache paint I'm using can be layered over top other paint colors to hide mistakes. I really, really could not decide what color scheme I wanted to use because I didn't plan it out ahead of time. I was just kind of, you know, picking colors and going from there. So eventually I settled on a nice color palette, which you will see at the end later. But in the meantime, um, the painting that you see for this particular spread is completely different <laughs> from how the finished one turns out. This next creature was definitely not in Finding Nemo, but I think it's one of the coolest looking creatures ever. It's called a Nautilus, and in addition to looking super cool, it's just one of those more fascinating creatures on our planet, so I wanted to do a paint study of it on watercolor paper instead of my bullet journal paper just to make sure I could get the blending effects I was looking for. The um, 
journal I use is an Archer and Olive journal and the paper is absolutely awesome. It's really thick but it does tend to buckle um, sometimes when I use too much water so I just didn't want that to happen for this particular painting because I really really wanted it to be you know a nice nice looking study since it is one of my favorite sea creatures. A little bit about the Nautilus because I'm hoping you're as intrigued as I am. It is a cephalopod so it falls in the same family as the squid and the octopus which you can see from its cool tentacles coming out of its shell um, but they are a, an incredibly old species um, and they're considered to be living fossils so they're actually related to the first cephalopods that appeared about 500 million years ago which is incredible honestly it kind of reminds me of the pokemon character omnistar but that could just totally be me i don't know let me know down in the comments below what you think um i think it's really cool do you think it's really cool i don't know uh, i had so much fun doing this study and challenging myself to create depth in the bottom portion of the shell while keeping the upper portion of the shell light and less murky I am using gouache paints, so they do react quite differently compared to watercolors, which is what I'm used to working with. They're typically water soluble, so you can get watercolor like effects, but in general, they're a thicker paint. And even though I haven't been using this medium for long, I feel like it's been pretty easy to get the hang of. It's reassuring to know that if I do make a mistake, there is some hope to cover up and start with a fresh layer without it pulling up the bottom layers the way watercolor would. If you're interested in seeing the full details of the paints and materials I use throughout this video, I do list them all out down in the description box below. I also try to include links where I purchased my supplies from. Some of the items are Amazon affiliate links if I found the products on Amazon. So if you do decide to purchase through that link, I receive a very, very tiny percentage um, from your purchase. It doesn't change the price for you at all and just helps me earn a little bit here and there to put towards art supplies that I can use in my future videos. So here I'm just cutting out the Nautilus and using some dual-sided sticker tape to put it into my bullet journal. Around it I brush letter its Latin name and have it labeled as sea creature number one. And then I finish it up with a little bit of water at the bottom which then I'll add some gold elements to it later as well as some seaweed on the sides to add some more color and then put monthly in gold just like I did with the word June in the previous spread and do my vertical layout with the days listed in vertical and the days of the week on the left side so I know what day of the week it is.
This next spread is probably my favorite so far. Going back to the Finding Nemo reference, I decided to hint at the jellyfish to sea turtle adventure that Marvin and Dory go through. I'm obsessed with how these jellyfish turned out. They just completely matched the effect I was going for and the colors worked out so nicely. I really couldn't have asked for anything more from what I was picturing inside of my head and it makes me so happy. Uh, I really want to turn them into stickers or something so if that's something you're interested in seeing let me know and I will try and figure something out. <laughs> The sea turtles, on the other hand, were a bit of a different story. Although they're not awful, I just, I don't think I quite approached the painting the right way in terms of layering strategy and figuring out how to get their shell markings to be properly spaced out or, you know, their fins properly scaled with the texture. Um, I'm probably going to try painting them again just to go about it a little differently and see how that goes. So yeah. I plan to use this page as a general running to-do list since I'm still not quite back to needing full weekly spreads. I will be creating more sea creature paintings to help fill out some of the pages a bit more um, and I plan to share those on Instagram when they're up and ready. So again, if you want to see those future paintings, be sure to stop by Instagram. And in the meantime, that's all I have for this month's plan with me video so thank you so much for watching i'll let this finish out and we'll do a final flip through of what i've worked on today Alright guys, so that's all I have for my July plan with me video. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.